Hello everyone, it's another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always an honor to seek Him in His kingdom each and every day, to praise Him and to worship Him and to glorify and shout out His holy name because we serve an awesome and amazing God. And right now, just for a minute or two, I would love every young man, every young woman right now to stop what you're doing. If Jesus has been good to you, if Jesus has been good to you, you need to start right now and give him praise right now. If he really, really been good to you, just like I know he's been good to us, you need to give him praise right now. You need to give him glory right now. You need to shout out his holy name right now for him being good. When I say being good, didn't he wake you up this morning? When he didn't have to, that's being good. Then he gave you your health this morning. Then he gave you strength this morning. Then he put clothes and shoes on your back this morning. Then he put food on your table. Then he gave you another opportunity for him, for you to seek him in his kingdom, to get on your knees to pray and to worship and open your Bible. Then he leads you on to your, to your job today. Then he bless y'all with a roof of your head today. Then he gave you strength today. Then he gave you your voice today. Then he gave you sight today. Then he gave you hearing today. That's what I mean that Jesus has been good to you. If he did that to you today, you need to give him thanks right now. You need to give him praise right now. You need to give him glory right now because Jesus is good. You're not going to tell me he's not good. Everything that is mentioned right now, that's a blessing. That let you know that Jesus has been good to you today. You could have been somewhere else, but he gave you that today. Now, didn't he? So he deserved the thanks right now. He deserved the praise right now. He deserved the glory right now. He deserved the honor and the worthy right now because he's been good to you. Give it to him. I mean, I dare you right now to give him thanks right now because he's good to you. Just don't say, oh, no, -uh. don't think about it. Then he do every last one of those things that I just mentioned to you. If he done that for you and you're alive right now, that means Jesus has been good to you. He deserved the thanks. He deserved the honor. He deserved the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today's text is coming from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28. And we're going to be talking about today. I am not stopping. Right now, somebody's been complaining. Somebody's getting tired. And somebody's about to stop doing what they're doing right now. And if, and if it's you today, my brothers, my sisters, this message is for you today. Make a sticky note right now and put it all over your house, put it in your car, and just look at that sticky note every day and tell yourself, today is the day I'm not stopping. No matter what your situation might look like right now, no matter what your circumstances might look like right now, always tell yourself, I am not stopping. Amen. Amen. Before we get started, we all like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for our health today. We can't thank you enough for our strength today. We can't thank you enough for our hearing today. We can't thank you enough for our voice today. We can't thank you enough that we're able to seek you today, to praise you, and glorify and shout out your holy name today. We just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy, oh, Heavenly Father God. We just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and everything that you do in our life. We just can't thank you enough for your love. We just can't thank you enough that you bless us with your protection. We just say we just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just said we just can't thank you enough. We just can't thank you enough for everything that you do for us. We just can't thank you enough, Jesus. When we have nobody else to call on and depend on, we can always call and depend on you. For that reason right there, Jesus, we just can't thank you enough. I say we just can't thank you enough. That's why we always going to lift your name up high and praise and worship your holy name because we just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. Today, please turn your Bibles to Isaiah 40, and we're going to read from verse 28. That's Isaiah chapter 40, and we're going to read from verse 28. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to, and ready to receive this word today, shout out amen. Amen. Let's begin. He will not grow tired or weary. In his understanding, no one can fathom. He will not grow tired or weary of you. 
and this understanding no one can fathom. That's why it's so important today, my brothers and sisters, to tell yourself, no, I ain't stopping. Look what Jesus had to do for every last one of us. Didn't Jesus take that beating for me? Didn't he take that beating for you? Did he get tired when he took that beating? No. Did he get weary when he took that beating? No, he did not. So for that reason right there, you shouldn't be stopping. Even though he could have called on his father for help, but he did. He didn't show no sign of slackness or giving up. Now did he? Look at how he got ridiculed. Look how he got betrayed. Did he give up? Did he stop? We can't even fathom the pain that he went through for every last one of us. Now could we? I know I can't. If I know I can't, I know that y'all can't. So why? Because you're going through something right now. Even though you don't see anything happening right now, your situation still looking the same. Your circumstances still the same. And you want to stop. You're getting tired. You're getting weary. You want to give up. This thing about what Jesus had to do for us. Did he get tired? Did he get weary? So why are you stopping? He went through way more pain than what we have went through. This thing about the times when you was calling out his name each and every day. Did he get tired and say, I'm tired of hearing you? No, he did not. Did he say, I'm tired of hearing you crying? Did he say, I'm tired of you calling my name? No, he did not. So why are you stopping? It don't make any sense. Right now, did Jesus tell any one of y'all right now to stop? Regardless of what you're going through right now, regardless of what you're facing right now, did Jesus tell you to stop? Don't worry about what the haters are saying. Don't worry about what other people are saying. Don't worry about what your so-called friends are saying. Did Jesus tell you to stop? That's the point right there. Some of y'all worry about what other people are thinking and saying. Long as Jesus didn't tell you to stop, you need, you need to tell yourself this right here. Today, no, I'm not stopping. Because Jesus didn't tell me to stop. Look at the times when he didn't get tired of me when I was calling his name. Look at the time when I was when I needed help. When I needed someone to call on. I needed to show the crown. Did he get worried of me? No, he didn't get tired. He didn't show no, no sign of slackness. No sign of tired. No sign of giving up at all. When I needed help, wasn't it there for me? So if he didn't stop for me, why are you stopping? Right now, somebody's doing that right now. You're on the verge of stopping for a reason. Because your situation's still the same. Because your circumstances are still the same. Because you listen to other people and what they're telling you, it ain't going to happen. You're wasting your time. God ain't going to do this for you. You've been doing it for so long still. You're still stuck in the same situation. You can't listen to them. Their opinion don't matter. Their opinion don't count. The only person opinion that matters, the only person opinion that counts is Jesus. Did Jesus tell you to stop? Did Jesus tell you to stop? If Jesus didn't tell you to stop, why are you stopping? And we can't understand why we're going through this. That's why the word of God said we can't understand why we're in this situation. you in that situation for a reason. This thing about them late nights, Every day, you call his name. And even though you was calling his name, you might ain't heard nothing. But did he tell you to stop calling his name? No. Did he tell you to stop praying? No. Did he tell you to stop worshiping? No. He didn't get tired of that, now did he? He didn't get tired of saying, Jesus, I love you. He don't get tired when I say, oh, him and Father God just can't thank you enough. If he ain't getting tired, why are you getting tired? So you have no reason to be stopping at all. Did he stop? Did he stop for you? To ask yourself that question. Did he stop? Did he stop one time? Or get tired one time and he was getting that beaten? Did he stop one time? Or complain one time or showing his slackness when he had to carry that big old cross all by himself? Did he stop? Did he stop? When nobody else gave you a chance. When nobody else gave you an opportunity. When nobody else believed in you. Who gave you that chance? Jesus. Did he stop? Did he say, I'm tired of hearing you crying. Did he say, I'm tired of you asking me the same thing? No, he did not. No, he did not. Not at all. So I just want to encourage somebody today. Whoever it is, whoever it is I'm talking to today, I would like you right now, get some sticky notes right now, and write all of them. You got to put them in your bathroom. If you got to put them all through your hallway. If you got to put them in your car, or at your locker room in the gym, or at your job, 
on your vehicle, on your bedroom, or your bathroom, whatever it is, you need to put on there, no, I am not stopping. I have came too far. I'm not worrying about what my situation looks like right now. I'm not worried about what my circumstances looking at right now. Jesus didn't tell me to stop. I'm not stopping. If Jesus is not getting tired of me, I'm not going to get tired for myself. I'm going to continue on through this race. I'm going to continue on believing in him. I'm going to continue on to trust him because I know I serve a God who is awesome. I know I serve a God that, I know I serve a God that who is amazing and he's going to get me through this situation right now. Right now, yeah, it might look blurred right now. Right now, I might not see anything right now, but I'm trusting in you, Jesus. I know that you're going to get me through this and I'm trusting in you. And I believe the clear today that whoever it is today going to write that sticky note today saying, no, I'm not stopping. Even myself, I look at myself in the mirror each and every day saying, Jesus, no matter what, I'm going through right now. Yeah, I still in my storm. My situation still looking the same. My circumstances still the same. But I look at it when nobody else gave me a chance or opportunity to minister. When everybody else told me they didn't give me a chance, when they let me down. I, 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 I just take a look at how many days and how many times I kept calling your name. Crying said, Jesus, I know I'm part of this ministry. I just need you to open that door for me. That one time that you tell me you told me to stop. That one time you said, LT, you get on my nerve. That one time you said, LT, you get away from me. I don't want to hear no more. You did. Not one time. You didn't stop. Not one time. You didn't get tired. You didn't get tired of hearing me. You didn't get tired of hearing me crying. And now that you opened that door for me, and now that you gave me this opportunity, you still don't get tired of me when I say I can't thank you enough. You don't get tired of me when I give your, when I lift your name up high each and every day. So if you're not getting tired, I'm not getting tired neither. I'm not getting weak. I'm not getting weary. And I ain't about to faint not whatsoever because, no, I'm not stopping. Even though my situation might look right, might look in the same right now, my circumstance might look in the same right now, but I'm not stopping at all because because you didn't stop for me when you was getting beat. You didn't stop for me when you had to carry that cross. You didn't stop that one time when I was calling upon your name and I was crying and I was needing for help. You didn't stop. You didn't get tired of me not one bit. So today, oh Heavenly Father God, we are not stopping. We're going to continue to march on. We're going to continue with our head up high. We're going to continue to trust you. We're going to continue to believe in you no matter what the situation might look like because we know we can't fathom what's going on right now. We can't fathom what our, what our situation is looking like. Like this we can't fathom why our circumstances is looking like this the only thing that we can do jesus is put our faith and our hope and trust in you jesus knowing that you're gonna make a way for us because we know that you're able to do this because we put our hope in you today jesus hallelujah that what 31 said it said but those who hope in the lord will renew their strength and they will soar on wings like an eagle and that's what we're gonna do today jesus we're not stopping no we're not stopping at all. We put our hope in you today, Jesus. And we will soar like eagles. We will soar. And I believe that today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. But I know this message is meant for somebody today. It's meant for one of my brothers today. It's meant for one of my sisters today. Make your sticky notes, like I said. And write on those sticky notes. Say, no, I'm not stopping. I came too far. Alone, Jesus ain't telling me to stop. I'm not stopping. Alone, Jesus ain't telling me to stop. I'm not stopping. I'm not worrying about what the haters are saying. I'm not worrying about what so-called friends are saying. I'm not worrying about what my family members are saying. I'm not worrying about what people on social media, whatever, whoever it is, are saying. Or if they don't like what I'm doing or what, I am not stopping because Jesus is telling me not to stop. I'm going to continue to go on because I believe in somebody and I'm going to put my faith and my hope in him and we will soar like eagles in the mighty name of Jesus. And if this message is meant for you today, let's give him things, let's give him praise right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Jesus, because today we are not stopping. Our hope and our faith lies in your hands and we will fly like eagles in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I close, I'd like to end with a prayer. Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, and use me so you can build us up in your temple, in your course. Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough that everything we ask asking for, we believe in. We know that you're going to make a way for us. We love you, Jesus, and we trust in you, Jesus. Our hope lies in your hand. In Jesus' name, I love you so much. This is Minister LT.